if you have worked with CPI Helper, you've probably seen this uh, latest pop up. And here you can see that the FIGAF plugin is a uh, FIGAF tool is now a plugin. And if you go to the site, you will then be able to see a little about this release and hopefully this video also. In this video, I wanted to show you what we have done with the tool and how to get it working. So first off, you go to this page here you enter the URL of your CPI system uh, or the FIGAF system and here you can then add the agent ID if you need that in most cases you don't need that and what you will then see is if you click on the messages now you have a number of new buttons uh, here in the FIGAF so we have this navigate here this will navigate us and take us to the overview of this <clears throat> here we can see and compare different iFlow versions either with our visual comparison to see what's going on here so we can see that there was a change in this element from this value to this value or we could use our div to html to look at what are the code changes that have been made between these ones so that's one thing you can do here you can also start a transport and here to just say assign to ticket and transport in your landscape of, of choice and start to transport with the tool and the tool will guide you through it ensure you have testing etc as a part of this we have also added another one here that's called synchronize synchronize will take this artifact and start a synchronization of it and with synchronization you would be able to persist a new version of this iflow into the FIGAF tool and that means you would be able to use the versioning and compare it with previous changes etc making it a lot easier for you to start working with these things and obviously you would also be able to start the transport directly from in here uh, if there were any changes so you can add it to a ticket and then it works the same way as before the last thing we added is a pretty cool thing so in this iFlow I've run with some test cases and I've run it in trace mode and if you run a message in trace mode you'd be able to record it to FIGAF it if it is not older than one uh, hour. What we can then do is we can create a new test case that's called CPI helper. Uh, we can say one message it's this specific payload that we're looking at and what we do now is it will start downloading all of these information from this iFlow to create a test case for us with the specific data and this takes a few seconds and here we can see it has fetched these number of messages we have all the details about it we can see uh, payloads etc persisted messages uh, and data store entries so we can create it a new one so that's the reason I needed to to add the agent number because we have too many agents with the same ID in our system uh, in our trial system and I can now run it on the CPI system so, so I created a test case and now I can easily run it again with these settings so we can see now uh, we should get a new instance that has been running and if we look at the message for this one we can see it has been run with IoT which is basically figure out that is sending these messages as a part of us uh, triggering this flow and making sure it works so th it's really easy to be able to take test cases run them and validate and that, that's one of the cool things that I think this CPI helper plugin makes it a lot easier for integration developers to work on what's going on. And then once it's completed, you'll be able to see the result of this test if there's any differences in messages and you can view the diffs that exist, ignore certain elements, etc. So it's really easy to work with uh, and coming from a CPI helper really automates a lot of these tags making the navigation a lot easier so uh, go try out figaf go try out uh, cpi helper and this will help you develop sap cloud integration a lot better thanks for watching